Hey guys, in this video I will show you how you can customize your Microsoft PowerPoint slides. So let's get started. First of all, go to iSlide.cc and you have to download this iSlide application. And it's not a standalone application, but it's an enhancement feature of PowerPoint Point. So just first of all, download this. It's free. Just double click to install. It's really easy to install. Just a few clicks. So the installation is done, open up PowerPoint. So once you open up the PowerPoint, you will see a screen. So it will just give you a guide what is this about and how you can use it. There's theme library, diagram library, and picture library. And like quick and you can just make quick and professional stuff using this app. So this is really great. So here's it. And like there are like all the features. So let's start with creating a slide. Just create a normal slide. Then go to iSlide, iSlide menu. You will find that on the top bar. So here you can see that you can log in. You can change your standard specification theme library, and like there are transition effects, and you can also export them like as an image or like export this as a video. So this is really easy. So let's start with the theme library. Just click here, and it will open up the theme library. Now here you will get a lot of themes, you can also search, you can use the filters, you can choose free or the premium ones, you can choose category like business proposal, plan summary, there are a lot of categories you can pick from. So let's just see what I like here, um, maybe let's go to the next page. Ok let's, let's just pick this theme, just click on the download icon and it will start downloading the theme and it will like install the theme. So here we have got our new theme. So you can see that this theme is really nice. Here they will also give you an instructions like how you can use the themes. So you can just delete them after reading it. Uh, so let me just delete. So let's start with customizing it. Just type your name. Or like uh, you can make the intro page. Like here in the contents let me just write something for the marketing plan. It's just for a demo. Um, so let's here. You can change your header section here. But this is the normal basic PowerPoint stuff that you need to do for creating a slide. So here you can give just your description. So let's start with adding some um, diagrams. So let's go to diagram library. Here you will see a lot of diagrams for your market. I mean for your slide. Let's just see what we have. Oh, there is fishbone diagram also. I like that. So let's we're looking for some target icons. So let's search for target. And here I got this. I think I like this one, or maybe that one. Okay. So let's just download this one. So you will just have to click on download, and we'll just download it on the next page. So just tap on it to edit. You can see that you can edit your headers, like you can edit the icons, or you can also edit the descriptions, like this is how it should be. So maybe you think it's okay. Let me just change the titles. Maybe it's total rich for my marketing. I just want to target for my age group. And maybe um Okay, income category. So you can see that I have just used this diagram and it was really so easy to simple. I didn't have to create it from the scratch. So let's look for some smart diagrams for my next slide. Um, there are a lot of diagrams to choose from. Just pick one whichever you like. So this one looks nice. Okay, I'll just add it. So let's go to the next page. Um, here yeah, you can see that you can add up your like the diagram. Maybe I will use it as a market share. So let's say that this is the market share of my product A. And like this one is for my product X. And this one is for my product Y. So this is how like it's, it's easily like identifies the, the market share using this diagram. So let me just write market share here. Okay, done. So
So this is how you can customize and you know make the slides more beautiful and enhance the more PowerPoint. Um, now let's see the picture library. So here you can choose for any photos you want. You don't have to go to Google and search and put it here. You can just directly put them from here. Just click on download. Done. Now let me just um, modify this a little bit. It doesn't look that good here. Just like this. So let me add more smart diagrams. Maybe you want to talk about its performance or speed. Okay, I like this one. So they have installed it here. So let me just copy this and paste it on my this slide. Now you can edit this the way you want. Um, just. Um, yeah, it looks good here. Maybe I have to like oops, change the image or make it or just shrink it. Okay, cool. Oh, so just shrink the image. You know what? You can design the slide the way you want. So I'm just giving you a demo of this app, how you can use it. So just type here on um, speed. Let's type here performance. Now let's add up more icons here. So for this, let me just fix the speed first. Oops, error. Okay, fine. Just turn on the auto spelling check. So, okay, let's add up some icons. Let's check out the icon library. Maybe I'm searching for something um, that defines speed. Maybe this fire icon. Okay, cool. So I'll just align it here. Maybe it looks good here. Okay, let's just change it or add something up. Maybe this one for performance. Okay, so this is how you add your slides and make things more beautiful and more professional. So this is really easy to use and I think this is really great. If you like this, you can get their premium version. But their free version is also great. So that's it. This is how I use this. And like this is really good for students or like for business friends like who want to edit them and give professional presentations. Like this is going to make your life easier. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe to my channel. Cheers.